So we've got our one page website, which is looking pretty okay at the moment in terms of what it does. You know, I mean, it's not massively amazing, but I think right, it kind of gets to the point of some businesses and companies out there, they don't want anything flash. They just want to go, right, this is who we are. This is what we do. This is what we offer. Get in touch with us now if you want to know more. So this could work for them, okay? I mean, I'd probably want to bring this in a little bit more. Maybe the 1,200 for the boxed width of the footer would probably be better there. But anyway, let's scroll to the top. But can you see a slight problem here? I want to create a one-page scrolling effect. Well, at the moment, you're still having to use your mouse. What if you want to jump to the get in touch button? Well, there's no way to do that without scrolling. And this menu item up here, well, it's a bit redundant, isn't it? Because there's only one page, so what's the point of it? What if we make that menu take us to different sections on the web page? And we're going to do that. But also, what if we want it to be visible all the time? So let's cover off two things. One page scroll, and we need that header to stay at the top all the time so that you can always use it whenever you want. Right. So let us work on this right now. Right. So we're going to go to over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where it says, Who are we? Who are we? And I'm going to type into here, Anchor. You pick up menu anchor, and I'm going to drop it. I'm going to, sorry, edit page. Silly me, hey? Right, who are we? I'm going to go to menu anchor and I'm going to drop it to be above the title, who are we? And I'm now going to type, who are we? No spaces, okay? No, no nothing, all right? I'm just doing who are we? No capitals because I want to know exactly what I'm doing. Who are we? I'm then going to go down to get in touch. And I'm also going to type in menu anchor again, drop it in above get in touch. And this time I'm going to say get in touch. You don't have to be as complex as that. You can pick a simpler word if you want, but as long as you remember what you do. So make a note of it, write it down somewhere so you don't forget. Right, we then have get in touch. Now then, I'm going to click update, okay? And I'm now going to go to edit header. Now where we have the logo there, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to pick up anchor again. And I'm just going to type in um, home like so and click update. Now, what does this do to the page? Because I've added in these extra items after we spent a lot of time messing around with the layout. Well, if I do that, it doesn't actually do anything to the layout. Notice that you wouldn't even know that anchor was there. And if you go down to who are we, you don't, you can't see, you can't tell there is an anchor there, okay? So we've got home, who are we, and get in touch, all lowercase. Great. Let's now, after updating, jump out of this and go back to our menu. So appearance, menus. We have home page, and that is it, because I haven't built any of the pages yet to be added. I'm going to click into home page and I'm actually just going to remove it so there's nothing in the menu. I'm now going to come down here to custom links and I'm going to type here. I'm going to pick up my web page or my home page address. I'm going to paste that in. I'm also going to type in home because we've built everything on the home page. I'm going to copy that. I'm then going to type hashtag, which is there. Option three if you're on a Mac or wherever it is on a PC, I can't remember now. But anyway, hashtag, and I'm gonna type home. And the link text for this is home. So home, right to the top. We'll add that to the menu, home. Let's add in another one. Paste, we're gonna say hashtag, and we're gonna say who are we? And the wording will be who are we in the menu at the top. So we, so just to double check, hashtag who are we? Add to menu. Now we'll do the final one, which will be hashtag get in touch. And the text in the menu will be get in touch. You can put whatever you want in the link text, by the way. You can put, you know, whatever you want. As long as the URL has got the web domain, the page, and then hashtag whatever was the identity you gave to the anchor. Right. 
So we've now got our free thing. Well, I haven't got it there. Add to text. There we go. Ed, uh, uh, in, uh, get in touch. And then we click save. And, you, and that is now saved. Right. I'm just going to purge while I'm here. Purge. Sounds like a really bad word, that doesn't it? Start, you start to get worried and start locking your doors when you hear someone say that. Right. Let's now go to our all pages. And let's now go into edit with Elementor with our home. OK, so I'm now going to just close this down. So if we hit who are we, it takes us down. If we click get in touch, it takes us down. Let's just now actually view the page as an actual page page. So we click get in touch, it takes us down to get in touch. We've got to scroll all the way back to the top to click who are we, it takes us to who are we. But the bit that's just slightly missing now is can we make that header sticky? I gave away a clue there, so it's always at the top, so I don't have to keep scrolling. Dead, dead simple to do that as well. So what we do is we go back to our page, we're going to go to edit header, and we go to our section with the header. And we could have done this right at the start, but I intentionally have left this right to the end just to show you how if we don't do this, you've got to keep scrolling up and down and defeats the purpose of what we're trying to achieve. So you click the section, you go to advanced, and we have motion effects. Now, we're not going to create slide in left or right or anything like that, but there is an option called sticky. And we're going to say stick this to the top. So if I now click update, and this is for the desktop, the tablet, and the mobile. Look at this, it's always stuck at the top. And if we were to view this on a mobile, let's just widen that to be the right width. There we go. Look, it's always at the top as well. So let's now preview the changes. Oh, mobile, desktop, there we go. Right, let's preview the changes. So we're now looking at our page. And look, as we scroll up and down, it is still there. In fact, I'm going to modify this ever so slightly a little bit more. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go to the style. And I'm going to go to border. I'm going to say I want a, not a solid border, but just a little bit of a shadow. And the shadow is going to have a blur of about two or three, roughly-ish. We'll go with two. And it's going to be a vertical blur of about one. We'll go with two. OK. And I'm going to hit update. And if you now notice what happens, OK, you can't really see it on that banner at the moment, but there's a little bit of a shadow now. If I preview the changes, if we now look, can you see? There you go. There's that little like, it's like the header is on top of the page almost. So it kind of differentiates it a little bit. Otherwise, when you have white and white, it looks a bit odd. But anyway, look, if I hit home, oops. So if we want to go to the top, we've got who are, whoops, there we go, get in touch, takes us down. We've got who are we, like so. And if you hit home, unfortunately, because I've made it as a sticky header, the home doesn't really work that well. So what you'd have to do is, in effect, is if I just go back to my page now here, where we've got this home anchor, I'm just going to pick this up. Well, I'm going to copy it, get rid of it from the header, because it's now sticking to the top there, okay, like so. And what I'm going to do is edit the page, save the changes, da, 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 da. and I'm now actually going to add it to the top over here. So I'm going to add in a section here, click paste over there. So it's actually just underneath the header, by the way. So if you do get a bit of spacing, as you can see here, what you can do is click this section, click the section, Make sure it's a full width, make sure there's no gap, make sure the height is set to minimal, like so, like that. Because if you add anything in to a new section, remember it's going to have a bit of padding inside or the margin. So I've made sure there's no gap. So when I now view that, it looks like so. Excellent. So if I now go to preview changes, okay, and I go to get in touch, and I now click home, we go back to the top. Who are we? Back to the top. Get in touch. Who are we? It, like, look, it's now a one page scroll. And as a website, that's working pretty well. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this address. So I'm now viewing this website in Google Chrome. And I'm going to actually just do this extension called Go Full Page, which is free. By the way, you can add it to Google Chrome. And what it does is it takes a one page snapshot. 
And what we can see now is this is the web page, the one page scroll. It is very basic. There are a few more sections you could add in, like I've said before, with a bit more about, a bit more about what you do, maybe a pricing table, um, some further information, or uh, a little bit of a carousel or something like that. But it's a very basic page. However, it does the job and it's a one page scroll using Elementor. Great. Now, what happens? If we just close this down, go back to our web page, let's just make sure we've optimized, delete the cache, delete all of that, blah, 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 blah. Let's now check the page speeds insight. And my mobile score is 92. And again, a lot of that is going to be down to my server. Believe me, it is the server that's kicking in here a little bit. There's been times when the time to interact was like, 12 seconds, even though the page opens really quickly. So I'm not going to lose sleep over that. And I know what this is all about. This is just about the image and the content. Again, it's not a true reflection. But the thing for me, on a mobile, that page is hitting 92%. On the mobile, we're hitting zero. No, we're not. We're hitting 99 as well. And I'm sure there's some little bits I could do to get that up to 100. But in terms of scoring, I'm really, really happy with that. Now, what we've done. In, you know, like almost in, um, we've gone into detail in some bits. I've tried to get you to understand that creating a web page with Elementor that is a little bit dynamic in, you know, how you click a menu item and it takes you down and the content we can show. Now we can modify it to look good on a mobile and a desktop. I didn't really do the tablet because the tablet is an extra stage and I don't want to turn this into another two, three hours added onto the video, but it's the same concept. You do it in desktop, you do it in tablet. You do it in mobile. Some people do mobile before they do the desktop. It's up to you. I prefer to go desktop, tablet, mobile. That's just the way I am. But I hope this has been really good. I hope this has been useful. We will be doing some more videos later on about SEO and optimizing this page as well. But I hope this has been useful for basic, basic building a web page with Elementor, starting from domain, hosting, WordPress, Elementor, settings, and then getting it optimized. Well, not optimized, but making sure you hit over 90% in Google PageSpeed Insights. All right, well, I hope that's good for you. Take care. See you soon.